side five. Next on the menu, we have side five. This will be the right side of the cube. Access it from the view cube or press shift four on your keyboard to jump to the right face. Here's a preview of what our face will look like. It's actually very similar to side four, but with an extra circle in the center. As usual, we'll learn a new sketch technique to tackle this. And the name of this technique is called circular pattern. Just a heads up, there are circular patterns for sketches, and that's what we're about to do. And then there are circular patterns for features, which we'll play with later on. Okay, so let's dive in. Select sketch, then select the right face that we're sketching on. Put in your usual two center lines, horizontally and vertically. Then place one circle in the center, 0.1 inch in diameter. Place a second circle in the top left, equal in size to the first, and dimensioned 0.15 inches from each of the center lines. And now for the fun part. Circular pattern will let us take this circle in the top left and pattern it, as the name suggests, around a central point. Let's give it a shot. To access the Circular Pattern Sketch tool, first find the Linear Pattern tool and click the drop-down arrow next to it. There, you'll see Circular Pattern. Click to select it. Next, we'll click the circle that we want to pattern. Onshape will display a couple of things on screen next. First, we have a 3x here that lets us control how many total instances we need of the circle. It defaults to three, but can be changed by double-clicking on it. Second, there is this square that's the center point of the pattern. We can click and drag it around. And third, there is this arrow here that once you start dragging, an angle dimension also appears that you can change the value of. Now for our case, we want to have four equally spaced circles around the center circle. So first, we'll change the quantity from three to four. Second, we want the pattern center to be on the face center, so we'll click and drag this box to the face center. Third, we want the angles between all of the circles to be equal. If you already played with dragging this arrow and change the angle separation, just drag it to its max value, which in this case is 270 degrees, and that will get you the equal pattern spacing. And that should be it. Press enter and look for this icon of the mouse with the green check button. It's just telling you that you are accepting your choice and to create the pattern, click your mouse's left button. Note that since we patterned the first circle, all the circles now have the same size. And that's it. Accept the sketch and create the 0.025 deep holes.